Hello guys, my name is Artheo Bear. Welcome to my official Shrine Breaker Guide. So basically what happened was um, back then, uh, Iceborne used to be Frostfire and it was cheaper then. Hallbreaker was also cheaper then and they cost about the same. So that's why I was able to build Hallbreaker as a third item and I was able to rush Titanic and Nashers. But I can't do that anymore. Arthio ends the game. Keep, keep fucking stalling their backs. Stall the backs. Stop the ports! Stop the ports! Stop the ports! Stop the ports! Arthia! What is the Shrine Breaker? The Shrine Breaker name was created by one of Bali Bear's quotes. Your shrines will fall! With his ability to disable and deal damage to towers. The towers are called shrines. In Volibear's story, he made a vow to tear down civilization, which was the Aram Bridge, where the Watchers are frozen in time. His destruction unleashed the terrible power that corrupted him into the Thousand Pierce Bear. Basically, the Void Hybrid Bear so I created a playstyle based on his story using the classic skin and the Thousand Pierce Bear skin. The classic uses the Shrinebreaker playstyle called the Stormbreaker using Iceborne Gauntlet. And the Thousand Pierce is called the Riftbreaker using the Riftmaker. So I got a, I, I got a very uh, basic setup on how I tend to play. Um, I updated my uh, guide to the standard runes that I tend to play every game. And then you got the, the standard precision runes that you guys can run. And I also got um, Predator and Aftershock. And I also got um, an Ability Haste, you know, W Rebite kind of play style um, as well. And all those runes I tend to use in situational matchups. And um, I changed the build, uh, you know, due to all my testings that I've been doing uh, recently. Like yesterday, I, I was telling you guys that I'm testing out Hole Breaker Rush in a jungle. It's good, but you're going to have teammates who are going to flame you for building it. And they they, they don't think that it makes any sense um, and all that stuff. I'm here to tell you to avoid that. <laughs> it's just to go your Mythic first. And by the time of Baron, you should have your Hole Breaker. And by that time, nobody's going to question you about Hallbreaker because early game is where they, they question you. So get your, your mythic that is going to help the team if you're in the jungle. And then um, and once you get the Hallbreaker and the Baron, that's where you can start to uh, open up the map and uh, look for a window to end the game. Because once you get your Power Spike item, the Titanic, or demonic, if you're going AP or, or whatever, or both, it doesn't matter. Um, that's where you're, you're serious. You're going to end in the game fast. You're going to break those towers instantly with demolish. And um, whether it's solo or whether you dive with your teammates. And that's pretty much it. That's how you end the game early with Folly Bear. And then if the game goes any later than that, uh, you know what to do. I got different build options. That's why I'm here in the item uh, set here. I'm going to show you. Uh, what those builds are. So it doesn't matter what the runes you're running. You can run any of those items. Okay. So if you got Lethal Temple and you're like. Oh no. I, I should have went this rune page for this build. You don't have to worry about it anymore. So for each playstyle. Like Stormbreaker. Riftbreaker. They all have the same damn runes. You just pick whatever. Um, situationally for the match. So for example. Let's go back to Big Cam here. Uh, desktop here, I'm going to show you what I mean. For example, these runes here, full power. That's usually against, uh, like, tanks or fighters. Uh, and then against range, 
You want to take Nimbus Cloak and, and a Ghost and Nimbus Cloak. It's going to help you against range. You can beat GP with this. You can beat uh, Quinn with this. You can beat whatever you need. Uh, and basically, what you want to do is wait for your ult. So level 6 is the fighting point. You don't want to fight before that unless they fuck up or you get a gank. Okay? And you just be patient. You're going to be under-farmed in the early game. But in the late game, you can catch up. All right? Because uh, most players are going to be helping their team. While a volley bear is going to be in the side lane clearing big-ass waves. So eventually you'll catch up. Um, and then you're, you're going to scale with Overgrowth Gathering Storm. Um, and the other one is the W Rebite. I take on flinching here because with the W Rebite, you actually are planning to fight. You like going team fights and fight. Um, and that's pretty much what you need when you when you go in team fights. You need ability haste. So that's the difference there. And, and transcendence kind of acts like a shojin. Um, it reduces your your W timer down quite a bit, almost like a shojin. So if you want to go a shojin in this build, you can. Um, I got that option. So I'll talk about that in a little bit. But uh, we got an aftershock version here. You can run this in the jungle if you want to. It doesn't matter. Um, I usually do this if I need the front line for my team. Okay. Uh, majority of the time in the jungle, I like to run uh, Predator these days. Predator is really hot right now. And it works really good for the breaker build. It scales with uh, uh, damage. So when you Q somebody, that's where you pop off with this. So when I do a full-on dive, I need to rush in there and dive. And it's really good for the Nexus Towers too. If there's some idiot standing there. <laughs> allowing you to proc the, the Predator, you're zooming at those towers. And just gonna fly right in, drop your E, alt right in, you know the full Shrine Breaker combo. And that's pretty much it there. And then you got the standard, you know, Conqueror runes. You can run uh, Presence of Mind. That's probably the only thing I would swap out. Uh, Coop, I should probably change that to Last Stand. I think Last Stand is generally better. Um, PTA and Lethal Temple. All standard. Majority of the time, I try to run full power if I'm against a tank or a fighter. And then um, range is this. I like to run grabs in top lane. You can run this in the jungle as well, because Volibear's uh, W is such a low uh, cooldown. You can definitely run grabs in the jungle. Um, but in my personal opinion, uh, precision runes. And either this in Situational, Aftershock, or Predator. Predator probably should run most of the time, or Precision. The reason being is because the enemy junglers uh, often have Precision as well. So, like, when you deal with a Warwick who has Lethal Tempo, you want to be able to match that. And you go ahead and take Lethal Tempo, and you go whip his ass. And uh, same for Trundle, Viego, any of those type champions. You can match him. So uh, here's the build setup right here, and all of them, pretty much all of, all of them. Okay, so I'm gonna explain in a minute. So go to Stormbreaker here. What we got here is we got Mythic, and Boots, and then we go Iron into Hallbreaker because at this point you need uh, more health on Demolish, and um, into Damage it's just really good combination with the the Demolish there, and then. By the time of Baron, you'll have the double buff on the canyon or the jack supers. And then uh, at this point, you want your power spike on your ult. The whole purpose of the Shrine Breaker playstyle is to use your goddamn ult. Okay? So the demonic titanic increases that damage. Okay? Um, and then you got Stearax at the end. This I call this the HP hybrid. It's just like my favorite to go to. And then um, on hit hybrid is you basically go core and then you go on hit with the Nashers into Shiv. Okay, that's going to give you the on hit. Shiv is going to be really beautiful on the wave. You just one tap it, zap. It's really good for the, like, the late game where you need to be at the Nexus Towers, but you need to push the wave up as fast as you can. And this is like full on hit clear with the Titanic, Nashers, and Shiv. And then you got the AD option where, uh, AD tank, my bad. So you do the core, 
and then you go Frozen and Force of Nature. These two tank items are the best with Iceborne. Yeah, damage reduction, movement speed, and, and all that good stuff. Uh, full AD, this is what it looks like. This is this is going to give you all maximum AD damage, okay? And I built this on all my builds. So it's uh, like Ghost Blade, Trinity, for example. You're probably going to get the highest amount of damage you can on your ult. So you want to go Shoujin into Sterex. Sterex is going to jump your AD about 50%, whatever. Base AD. So that's very important. Uh, AP Hybrid. Um, this is especially really good with the Rift Maker. Um, if you want to go this route, this is just the opposite version of AD. But AP is going to make your ult do more damage. So there's just more Stormbringer focused than it is. It also works with the passive and its E, but it's more catered to the ult, like 100% AP power. So we go Demonic. We don't want Titanic in this because we're focused on the AP. But in order to scale that damage on the ult, you need Demonic. So Shadow Flame and then Sorcery, you know, pot right there. And then uh, Death Cap is going to give a massive boom. Uh, Shadow Flame has health, by the way, so that's why we go that, and it's extremely high AP. And then uh, last here we got uh, Tower Diving uh, Utility. So basically, using Zanya's and Stone Plate, it's another way as a as a as a tool to turn off the towers or uh, soak in some damage. So that's pretty much this is pretty much the standard way that I tend to build situationally. So if I need more attack speed on hit to end the game, I'll do that. Um, if I need tank, front line, or something, then I'll do this. If I need, if I want full power and just melt everybody in my path, <laughs> I'll do the, the HP hybrid. If I want, if there's if there's a lot of uh, ability haste and fighters in the game, I might go Shoujin route just so I can, you know, W spam. That would be a good one for that one. And then... Uh, AP Hybrid is really good, especially if there's squishies in the game. You can just <laughs> pretty much one-shot them. And then, of course, Utility. You can't go wrong here. It's really good for team fights, closing out games in the end. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much the standard. So, I just wanted to share that with you guys, that I updated that on my guide. Pretty much for all the builds. The only unique ones is Dance Breaker. You don't touch that. That's, that's a unique play style. Uh, pretty much updated all this. There's only a few that are very unique. So like uh, Canyon Breaker, for example. I, I run Swiftness for all my builds, but for this one in particular, it's different. This one is all about Teleport and um, Cosmic Insight, reducing the, the Teleport uh, cooldown, basically, with the uh, Ionian Cosmic. And then that way you're able to uh, teleport to the Canyon every single time. And you won't miss out any any farm. You you'll be able to keep that pressure with the hole breaker. So that's just a, a different play style there. And also cosmic gives uh, what you call it item haste. So if you look into the late game, you can abuse items like Steerax, stone plate, uh, Zanya's. It just reduces the uh, the cooldown on those items. So you can uh, utilize that in team fights or when diving towers. So that's about it. I got Navori here. So basically what happened was um, back then, uh, Iceborne used to be Frostfire and it was cheaper then. Hallbreaker was also cheaper then and they cost about the same. So that's why I was able to build Hallbreaker as a third item and I was able to rush Titanic and Nashes. But I can't do that anymore. Um, not that it's bad. It isn't bad. You can. Uh, the reason being is Iceborne, Hallbreaker is expensive now. Um... So in this case, I, it's better to build Mythic and then Hallbreaker second by the time of Baron and then Power Spike. So that's why. <laughs> Tower Juice. Now I don't use... Uh, I have different tank options for the other play styles. So if you're interested in that, 
you can check that out. I'll show you real quick. So what I mean by that, if I click on Rift Breaker and I scroll down, you see the tank options are different. So we got Spirit in this one because we've got healing. All right, makes sense in here. And the AP, you know, it's really good with the E-Shield. So, you know, increasing that is really good. You're going to have attack speed in this. Uh, so reducing theirs is just really good. Damage reduction um, on top of you healing. So that's just a really nice combo. And um, since you're going tank, you might as well go demonic here. You could you could go titanic either or. Doesn't matter. But since you're rift maker, it's mostly AP scalings here. So you might as well just go demonic into this build. But it's up to you. And then if you look at Colossal Breaker, you can see here tank items or Sunfire. Just it's just straight up armor. Um, mainly because Heart Steel scales well into both of these. You get more damage than Sunfire. And then this scales with health as well. So when you ult, you're you're even more <laughs> rock solid. And then you're, you're burning everybody to death. So this is... I would probably take this if you see like a full AD comp. Or like maybe if there's just one AP. You know what I mean? Because you got to realize health is really good against um, AP. The more health you have, it's just really good into them. So um, that's that. And then you go to God Breaker. You can see... Tank options are thorn, thorn mail and spirit. Um, and the reason being is because uh, you got healing off this, so you're gonna heal that from there. And then every time you Q, when you have, whenever you have spell blade uh, on Q, it's just really good combination with the thorn, thorn mail. So every time you Q somebody, you you know you're dealing extra. You're applying the, the anti heal with your Q uh, with massive damage. On Q and W. So that's optional. Trinity goes um, full speed. So Dead Man's Force of Nature if you want to go the tank route. And this one, um, our Jack Show is Sunfire and Abyssal Mass. This is the best uh, tank setup for that. And Radiant, uh, you want to go for a tank setup, you want to go Sunfire because every time you ult, uh, Radiant's going to pop off and heal, but also burn everybody down. And the uh, Spirit's going to increase that healing. So that's the tank setup that you want for that. And then if you if you like Gore Drinker, Stride Breaker, tank options, or Thornmail and Spirit. Rage Blade, you can go uh, tank options would be... I feel like it would be Sunfire, because attack speed. Um, you know, you're whipping that ass and burning them down. And then reducing their magic resist. It's just really good for the on hit. Navoy also has a tank option. I think every time you Q, which <laughs> with Navoy, you reduce that quite a bit. So that means, you know, you're going to abuse Thorn, thorn Mail quite often. It's actually pretty broken. And then Spirit, of course, with the W heal. Uh, and this one here, Ghost Blade, tank options are full speed, which is like Trinity. You know, Dead Man's Force of Nature. You could go Chem Tank here, but I feel like that's too many actives, especially if you go in the jungle. You got Predator Boots, and then uh, Ghost Blade, and then you got Chem Tank. I don't think it's worth it that late in the game, uh, so you might as well just go Force of Nature. Fimbo Breaker, of course, this is a classic. Um, so I go Fimbo right after um, Power Spike. Because right after that, once uh, Volley Bear gets that, everybody's in trouble. <laughs> Especially with the Power Spike, because that's a lot of health added on. Not only that, when you hit somebody with Titanic and Volley Bear's Q ability, you do massive damage, and you get the shield on the uh, uh, right when you Q. So you get the shield, and then your E, you know what I mean? So that's a nice combo. You can try it with Shojin, Nashers, Steerox, Stone Plate, Demonic. All that good stuff. So yeah, that's about it. I think I got them all. Alright. Um, and then what are we doing? I'm calling this uh, AD. I'll probably bring this up here. Because I'm more likely to go damage <laughs> over tank most of the time. 
especially when I'm solo split. But if I if I need to team fight or something, I'll go tank. I'm trying to think. So obviously that's good. Another option is Morello's. That's actually really good. Forgot to add that. Yeah, these are good options. I would go these two if you're going to solo split. But you can certainly abuse the hell out of this with this on hit build and just apply that anti heal. Um, it might be good in team fights. Yeah. So if you need a team fight with an on hit build, this right here will melt everybody down. There we go. And there it is, that's it. It's pretty pretty much standard for the breaker build. Oh, I forgot to add uh Ghost Blade. So now we have a complete set. We have all our mythics so far on here. We got the Tower of Juice, Stormbringer damage, we got AD route, AP route, on hit route, tower utility route, and tank options. So um next season I don't think there's going to be any mythics, so we'll see what happens down the road. And, uh, you know, I'm constantly updating my guide. So until then, there might be another update. And uh, as always, check out YouTube and my Twitch if you want to watch me uh, play, you know, full gameplay of top and jungle. Uh, of how I, I handled the early game, mid game, and late game. So this video here is just purely on item updates and, uh, you know, wound pages and stuff like that. So I hope you guys uh, learned quite a bit and hopefully this helps you out a lot in your games. So Mythic, Hole Breaker, into uh, Power Spike, the alt damage items. And then after that, you get all your situational options you can choose from. All right, good luck out there.